Hey guys, this is Chad Oliver here with The Banner, and we've got a special breakfast with The Banner for you this morning. We are here with Mr. Grant Dunning, and uh, Grant uh, does a lot of uh, veteran artwork, and of course this uh, today our new uh, veteran edition of The Banner came out, and in, in honor of uh, this special edition, we're going to be talking with Grant on his artwork and uh, what he's got going on, and what got him into uh, into doing this uh, in into doing his veteran artwork? So, Grant, uh, first, once you introduce everybody to yourself, uh, everybody that's watching, uh, Grant Dunning. Uh, just, uh, I guess I'm a newly self-employed artist <laughs> trying to, <laughs> trying to scratch by here. Uh, but uh, yeah, just this is some of the stuff I do on the on the side. I've been doing some commissions and things like that. But uh, this is something I've been doing since about 2017 or so. Uh, uh, yeah, that's. I'm 47 years old. I'm a Libra. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. Uh, of course, like I said, this is our veteran edition, and uh, of course, I've been talking to Laura, um, your sister, and of course, she's been right wrote a really nice article about your dad. She told me she was. And uh, I know your dad served, and of course, I'm sure that probably influenced you quite a bit with yeah. getting into this veteran artwork, right? Big time. Yeah, that's a big source of my interest in it and i've i don't know how to put it but just uh gave me kind of a um interest a passion to listen to listen to any veteran that's got anything to say and and uh that's i can say that's a conversation with a veteran that is willing to talk to you about their experience to me it's like finding a hundred dollar bill on the sidewalk it's just a blessing you know to uh to hear that and i've i'm uh, you know, all I can say is when you find somebody like that, shut up and listen. You know, that's yeah. that's uh, uh, as, as somebody who has not served in, in that capacity, this is kind of like my my service to them, you know, yeah. and uh, just trying to trying to uh, bring glory, glory to God by through my art, I guess. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, it's a, it's a God given gift. I mean, it's the, the, the talent that you've got is uh is god given of course you know i myself am an artist and of course i think our artwork styles are, are totally different like we were talking before i do a lot of cartooning and stuff and uh but your art is more realistic and uh did you use are you using acrylic or oil both uh some of these like this one is this is the first one here this uh iwo jima painting that i, that I got into but it was oil uh i've gotten more into acrylics and um I'm thinking about, I mean, I'm always trying something different, you know, uh, a lot of it, I've, I've been going with my underdrawings, underpaintings with just permanent marker and then cover that up. I'm kind of maybe thinking about going acrylic base and then cover it with, you know, go back in with oil to get the finer details. And, and it's all, like I say, this whole thing, my whole life is just a work in progress yeah. and this is no difference, you know, but, but, uh, learning how you know but uh but yeah both oils and acrylics well i know uh of course we'll go through and look at some of the artwork here in just a little bit but uh i know with just looking at your pieces it's it's not so much more you're capturing really the heart of it because you look at i mean it's more up close to their faces mm -hmm. and such uh which i really like and it's i know when you look at them I think people fail to look at the vet, you know, when they look at the veteran about what they've done for, I mean, because they're the backbone of our country. And I think you can really tell by looking at some of the pieces like this one down here uh, with them laying with the flag on top of the body and in the soldier uh, paying their respects. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what it's about. And I don't think anybody really, a lot of people fail to realize what these people have done for our country. Mm -hmm. And you, having this gift and sharing that you know we were talking before about when we do artwork for people the uh payment and such and you know i've always been by lived lived by the 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 aspect that when when i do artwork it's just whatever it's worth to the person i know you mentioned that as well and and stuff like this really brings good memories and bad memories i'm sure but it's it's what you're capturing and the, that you're taking the time to remember these people. Well, it's just like a you know all these paintings are like a prayer. You know, they're just uh, 
I've got these verses up here, so I wouldn't forget how, how right. they go. But, but uh, greater greater love hath no man than it, uh, than this that he lay down his life for his friends. That's John fifteen thirteen. Uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong no, on how that goes. But right. and then this one: Behold, I have given thee a wise and understanding heart, so that there was none like thee before thee, neither after thee shall any arise like unto thee. First Kings. 312 and that's i that's that's god talking to solomon about the gift of wisdom that 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 he gave him um there's nobody uh everybody's a unique individual and that's one thing that i think veterans want you to understand they don't want to be put on a pedestal they want you to respect the rights that you have that they fought for and and uh you know they don't really necessarily want attention right. brought to their self, but a thank you in most cases or a welcome home even yeah. is just uh, is appreciated, you yeah. know. And that's – I try to keep that in mind and, and uh, about the wise and understanding heart. Like you you had – I had asked you when you asked me for this interview, uh, what do I need to study up on? Right. You said just uh, we'll talk about your passion for bringing attention to veterans through your art. And I think wisdom and passion are just really strongly tied together. And um, I think, uh, you know, understanding heart, a compassionate heart. Uh, my dad, which I've got a painting of him that I've started right here, uh, gave me uh, uh, probably the best compliment about this that I could have. He, he said, you have a, a heart for veterans. So, yeah, I'm not one myself, but I, I do have uh, I do have that uh, appreciation, and and the more the more I work on this, the more appreciation grows for it. You know. Well, you know, it, it does. It takes a uh, with. I mean, with, I think with anything. I mean, you look at doctors and nurses and school teachers and uh, those who go off to serve. I mean, it takes a special kind of person to do that. I mean, not everybody's right. called or equipped to go out into into battle. And to leave their families behind for years in some cases. Yeah. Well, and we're talking about all these are are combat veterans uh, in combat. You know, is what. Uh, but now, you know, we owe a debt of gratitude to everybody, whether they served in a warehouse or behind a desk or or just uh, stateside or or in in a war zone. You know, they the sacrifice, the initial sacrifice was signing that blank check up to and including the value of your life you know and they uh uh you know that's the sacrifices of time and health and and uh, time away from home it's like the, the those sacrifices that they made for us to live the way we live here and just like before you showed up i was uh standing out here listening to the the church bells ringing you know you won't hear that in a in um and probably any any other country that uh, that these wars were fought in, right. you know. That's um, well, I, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but, but it's uh, just little things like that. You know, you can walk around in a free country, uh, drive from coast to coast without going through a checkpoint to prove who you are, unless you break the speed limit or yeah. something. You know, but, but uh, uh, you just so many, so many freedoms that you just need to think about. And I'm, I'm just scratching the surface on that. You know, I know what, but. Uh, uh, we can worship the way we want to. We can stand up for the for the uh, pledge of allegiance and and uh, the national anthem without uh, being told to. And we can sit down for it if we want to. You know, it just and these these guys fought for your right to do that without. You know, you can you can say what you want without your neighbor turning you into the state and and uh, just a lot of those things. I think we just. I know we just take for granted. I take them for granted every day. So, um, but uh, that's the kind of things I think about when I'm putting paint to canvas on these on these paintings. So, I know that's uh, it's really now. Are these people that you know? No, no, they're just they're, like some of these came from. I just Google search right. on, and I'll just I'll pour over these painting or over these photographs. I don't have no idea on a lot of them who the photographer was. Uh, like they scope scan um span from this one's korea the chosen res battle of the chosen reservoir um i don't i don't know where all these were taken or just just i always say it's just uh i just go with 
as a kid that that uh, grew up playing with GI Joes, yeah. that's yeah. the scope. That's the lens I look through. It's just cool images that uh, that I think you know they they do strike some chords in your heart and everything too. But um, uh, just something I always approach it with reverence, but I always want it to look good in my pool room <laughs> you know right, that right, kind of right, deal right, so right, right. amongst my deer antlers and everything <laughs> else so uh, right. but uh and they um uh, well you know that's i i don't know this is this is the only one that i know who it is that's my dad yeah. so um uh, uh, and you said this was well, one that I'm, you're working on right yeah, now right it's a work in progress and i probably work on it until veterans day and put it up in here it might not be done by then but right but uh worked on it a little bit last night matter of fact but uh uh but yeah that's i would uh i'd love to you know i'd love to paint some some more people that i know if with their permission to, yeah. to use their image and, and things like that but uh, yeah. i know we've got uh of course in our in the special issue today we've got mr fawn he's on the on the cover and of course we know he you know served in the military and i course, met the flag at iwo jima yeah. yeah well actually i thought about that as i was painting this a lot yeah. well actually we've got the the poem that he wrote mm -hmm. that uh i met the flag at iwo jima is in the paper today mm -hmm. so uh that'll be great to uh to go along with this so yeah. you know mr fawn of course we all know his stories and i'm sure you had him in school just oh, yeah. like i had, yeah, him, I had him, him in school and two or three classes two or three yeah. yeah and yeah. uh uh, we, of course, we know all the stories uh, that he's uh, gone through, and then, of course, we have your dad, Sam, in there, and then uh, we have a, a man by the name of Anthony Harris, and he was in uh, the paper just a couple of days ago when I interviewed him, and uh, one of the things I asked him what he took back from serving in the military is, um, he said, the respect and the honor yeah. that he uh that he learned and to give other people and something i think i think you and i both can agree because you said you were how old 40, 47 47 i'm 44 so we're in that same age group there and uh from the from the era that we grew up in of course that's we knew respect and we we gave respect and mm -hmm. we didn't give respect we knew what we were going to get if mm -hmm. we if we didn't give it yeah. but uh it's something that's lost on yeah. on our kids nowadays yeah well and it helps it helps a lot when you have um uh, people in your family that served or people that you are close to that served to pass on some of that respect you know it's uh that's why i say if you don't know somebody you you know i think it's just it's a wise thing to do to stop and listen to what they've got to say don't don't say because you're not going to tell them anything about right. freedom you know right. they they know they fought for it right. so right. um so that's I, don't know. <laughs> I know it's 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 something hard to talk about i know because not a lot of people it's uh want to talk about uh where they served you know and when they served and what they did and i know uh i don't know if you've had a chance to meet our one of our co-owners greg ritchie uh but his grandmother which i think is so cool is his grandmother served in world war ii and she actually was a short lady she just passed away and uh 95 i believe she was when she passed away uh, a couple of weeks ago and uh but she was a short lady mm -hmm. and she was a, a welder and so they would put her in the little crawl spaces in the planes yeah, and tanks yeah. and stuff like so and, yeah, yeah so she could weld the, the yeah. rivets and everything so mm -hmm. you know it's it's really cool the stories i mean just the experiences you hear that you and i won't ever have yeah um but just to hear the experiences that everybody's went through and uh some they want to talk about some you know they want to share and some they don't want to share and just mm -hmm. keep to themselves you know but the stuff that they bring home is uh just amazing and i know you look of course i can tell from the way you talk about your dad mm -hmm. and uh the painting that you're doing here i know that you look up to him you know and you, that's something you've taken back from i'm sure you've heard a lot of stories from from him more so as he's gotten older he'll open up a little bit more as a kid uh he didn't talk much about it um uh, but yeah he's uh yeah, i've heard heard and heard quite a few <laughs> stories yeah, yeah. but uh that's yeah. that's really cool to to have that and uh, to have that influence to look up to because uh, i met your i think i met your dad like once at church mm -hmm. and uh but really cool guy and mm -hmm. uh just to know you know what they've been through i mean you just well just the the one thing that i know dad uh, talks about of course he was and um, I think it, I hope I'm not telling this wrong, but he was the 5th Transportation Division, which was based in Saigon, but he was in Quinan, kind of a satellite of, of that 
uh, it was just uh, uh, supply convoys that would go uh, different places to play coup uh, was one of them I can remember. Uh, uh, anyway, yeah, he, he had, but he he lived in that jeep for thirteen months, you know, and and uh, ate out of uh, uh, K rations and and uh, uh, you know that's just simple. Those back to those sacrifices when he got back, uh, he told me the first thing he noticed was on the cab ride home how smooth the roads were and how and he just couldn't wait to get a milkshake because they didn't have milk over there they couldn't keep milk over there he was there early early on before they had refrigeration and uh things like that but just the things that uh you don't think about uh when you look at stuff like this uh just the boredom the of you know the the combat is just what i've heard it described as as uh, long long spells of boredom uh accented by sheer moments of terror you know <laughs> so little things like that but and um yeah who who could know something like that unless you've been there yeah. but but you got a little you got an imagination for a reason you yeah. you apply it to the stories that that your uh, your veterans tell you that then you can come up with some kind of an idea at least an appreciation you know yeah. Yeah. um that's that's where i'm at <laughs> but, yeah. but uh well i know it, it's it's again it's you know really really cool like i said we're going to go here in a second and i'll take you through some of this artwork here and uh, let you guys see it chance and you're in downtown Princeton um, uh, come down what's what's the address here uh, 118 West Main okay. come it's to the old Caldwell County florist building is what, what it is um, just come down here and look in the window and uh, of course he's got all his artwork on display and I'm sure it's he'd even love to sell you some too if I'll sell it for cheaper to a veteran than I will to uh, somebody like me yeah. <laughs> you know, so, but yeah that's I, everything I've got, I'll I'll uh, I'll sell it to you. <laughs> so, <laughs> try, trying to keep the lights on. So, <laughs> aren't we all? Aren't we all? But uh, and guys, we want to thank you for uh, joining us this morning and uh, just uh, taking the time out of your day to uh, uh, share this moment with us. And uh, we, you know, welcome you guys in every single week. And uh, we love having you guys here. We love having you guys part of the banner and everything you bring to us because we couldn't do this especially without you guys and uh, you make the banner uh, that much more special because this is what we're here for we're local supporting locals and uh, we want to bring your stories to people who may not uh, ever get a chance to hear them so guys again thank you uh, for uh, tuning in this morning being with us here um, on Facebook and YouTube and if you haven't had a chance go check out our new uh, banner tv youtube channel um you can get it uh we'll have the link in the in the bio go out check us check us out and see what we have uh, going on because we're going to have a lot of new original content coming out in the coming weeks uh, a lot of new original shows that you're only going to be able to get on banner tv so the more subscribers we get the more content we're going to be able to get to you so again guys check out banner tv 
And guys, thank you again. We hope you all have a very blessed day. And uh, just thank you again for joining us. And uh, we'll see you all next time.